Nemours is a, actually a multi-state integrated health system. Here in Delaware, we have the mothership of the AI DuPont Hospital for Children, and we provide care to about a quarter of the children in the state of Delaware. Nemours has 10 uh, primary care sites uh, scattered throughout the state, and we now have psychologists in all of them. By having the psychologist in those primary care practices, we're able to reduce a lot of barriers to care. I think it's been a very positive experience for, for both the practitioners and the patients. Patients like the idea of going to their primary care physician's office and having a full range of services, including behavioral health, available to them. Sort of trying to avoid it and hoping that it kind of goes away. I started working here when the place first opened, and it was mainly to help the underserved. Um, We've been here now 18 years and we've grown ever since. We have her on a uh, hypertonic saline. And we've increased our amount of ancillary services that we have here, including breastfeeding counselors, social worker, and the first thing that we actually integrated within the office before any of them was psychology, which was you know, 12 years ago. Tell me about how things have been going. Good. Um... I've been here since 2003. I refer to myself as a primary care evangelist. And the reason I enjoy primary care so much is the integration of behavioral health and mental health, particularly in a setting like this, serving the families who we serve. Um, it offers way more seamless service. It gives me an opportunity to always have the physicians in the office. We can, all, we can consult, they know the families, I know the families, and we just provide a much better service to the families. It's, it's a great model. I can't think of doing psychology outside of the model that we do it here. Um, in an integrated care model. In most other models, to try to get patients to a psychologist often was a very time intensive and sometimes distance intensive issue. But now with having them there, we can actually literally walk a child from the office down to another office and have an intervention done right away if needed. And I, in some of our cases, that's been just an absolute lifesaver for some of these patients. In the pediatrician's office, uh, in our satellite clinics, it's very easy to, sometimes it's curbside consultation where in between patients, a pediatrician may pull a psychologist aside. If one of the psychologists has a little bit of time in their day, They'll come up to the room and they'll discuss a few of the patients right there and then with us. He kind of has to take medicine to control his ADHD symptoms. So the discussions are ongoing and they're more in real time than delayed where perhaps you lose that moment to really understand what's going on. And now with the EMR available, with being able to see the psychology notes, they can see our notes, I think we provide much, much better care. I could just go into the medical record and read their documentation. What makes this, for me, an ideal place to work is that we have providers from many disciplines at different levels. And so we have physicians, we have medical residents, we have medical students, then we have psychologists on staff. We have psychology fellows who dedicate one year to being here to provide services. We have our psychology resident. We have psychology doctoral students who we also train here. You really get an opportunity to, as a psychologist, learn the medical model and the medical side of things, and at the same time we get the benefit of learning from the psychological side of things. And so it's a nice blend. I think by checking the ketones when you came in there, we prevented the hospitalization. It's fun. It's intellectually stimulating. I think that we provide better service by learning from one another. Um, we can complement our services and so um, it's better coordinated. Families aren't hearing one thing from one provider and another thing from another provider and then left to sort out which way they should go. It almost feels as though to a lot of the patients that the psychologists become an extension of our care. For instance, with ADHD, it becomes part of every, everybody's diagnosis. You see us, you then see the psychologist they know it's just part of the routine. It greatly reduces the stigma of seeking mental health services. The main hospital campus is less than five miles from here, and the families who we serve in this community are really unlikely to show up at the hospital for services, but they will come and see me. And I think part of that is the familiarity of the office. Um, they know the providers, they trust their pediatrician. I like coming here because it's centralized. Dr. Amorosa is here, which is their primary doctor. Jemiah and Malik see Dr. Rogers. So everything is right here. I don't have to explain 
a whole lot because they already know it because they're here. This is something I think that is actually the model for pediatric care going forward. The numbers of children that have unmet behavioral and developmental needs is staggering. And the only way we really can address that is to do it in an integrated fashion with the psychologists in, in the office, with the pediatricians working together as a team. I'm 68 years old raising babies. You know, it takes a village to raise children. Well, they're part of my village.